What up, and this is Josh Bo, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes Banger. Now, before you guys adjust your phone brightness or change your minor settings, yes, I am black and playing a dirt bike game. And today I was hit up by a Taurus Rosenio on uh, on DMs inside my Discord. And uh, I gotta say, shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for actually, you know, hitting me up in the DM and asking me if I could try out your track and actually do a track review. Um, this track has came out uh, last last month, I think on the 12th of November. Um, so yeah, I was, I think so. I, I believe it was on the 12th, but um, this is Irwin's uh, Artie Insignia. I, I don't know really know how to pronounce the last name. Artie Insignia, um, you know, Academy, Motocross Academy. And I have rode a couple laps on it just to see, get the flow of what I was getting into. I never want to do track reviews not being able to understand what I'm be being into. Sorry. Sorry if you guys hate that, but hey, I'm a cheater. <laughs> I'll cheat just a little bit so I know what's going on. But that being said, I, I found a really good flow. I enjoy it. I mean, I don't really know the full flow, but it is sand. And you guys know how I feel about my sand tracks. I know a lot of people are biased to opinions on sand tracks but i really do think sand tracks do give you guys a huge benefit of trying to get faster in this game so yeah hopefully you guys pick this track up uh so far what i've been running on it is actually a pretty smooth flow it's not a very long track uh nor is it very difficult i think these high berms are actually really cool you just stand up through all of it um and then yeah <laughs> I, I it reminds me of a little bit of uh Asin. Asin uh, and a little bit of Mantua with the sand vibe, but also in Asin, you have those high berms that you can rail if you really know how to, standing all the way up. So that's what I kind of enjoyed is because it kind of carries a lot of speed without you having to, uh, or should I say, like, kind of cut in. So some places, yeah, you get to cut in, some you don't. And I got to say, the vibe of the track is actually really cool. I shouldn't say it's a very difficult track, very, not necessarily a cookie cutter. I do enjoy the split section coming off into the finish. Um, but it's not hard because it's in sand. I think I might slip out here and there, but it's not that bad. And like I said, I don't even know what lap times I'd really be running. I might have to turn my standings on here in a second. But um, so far, I don't know if a 450 would be overkill here. Um, obviously, since it's sand, 450 would probably eat and munch in here. Uh, maybe a two-stroke might go a little crazy in here as well. But, you know, uh, Kawasaki's my baby, 250, and that's the most practice I'm trying to get on for this uh, upcoming Supercross season. Um, but yeah, huge shout out to him, uh, Taurus Husenio, for literally just hitting me up, man. That was actually really sick. So I, I want to let everybody else know out there, I'm not known for uh, for track track reviews at all. Um, but I will do them from time to time, especially if you hit me up and ask me. Oh, man, why, why would I not, you know? Um, mostly I try to stay my stuff to races, kind of just talking over what I've been completing. Um, or, but yeah. But that being said, the track has a good flow. The sand's not bad. It's bearable. I am running a medium, uh, medium 90 with a medium 110 in the back. Uh, if you guys already have checked out my, you know, outdoor motocross section, you would already know what I'm running. And this is probably the only section right now that I'm still trying to, still trying to figure out like how to hit correctly. But I'm gonna get, I'm gonna tackle it. But it doesn't look like a very long track. Like I said, maybe, maybe a good lap around here, minute 10 minute 15 maybe i don't know could be wrong <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of it um that being said dude i i can't thank you guys enough for the support uh, i've hit 4,000 subs and i really don't know if this is this guy's first track second track but um i, I want you to keep up with it the biggest thing is uh keep the mo motivation the dedication and you know kind of Kind of knowing that there's going to be people out there that's going to want to ride your tracks and hopefully it's just not let me take this outside hopefully you, this is not a one and done whether you've done other tracks uh let me know down in the comment section also let me know down in the comment section if anybody's rode this track yet um because like i said i didn't even really know this track came out but once again i don't really do track reviews so um it's not that long of a track so it's almost got that feel for me to almost run a uh an elimination race on it i know how you guys love your elimination races so I've been looking usually when I go to work and I'm, you know, working throughout the weekend, my three day, uh, three days on, I kind of look for tracks and kind of like do figure out at that point, like what tracks would I want to run for an elimination as long as they have a server version to it. Um, and that's always the huge thing is just making tracks have a server version. Um, a lot of people don't understand that, but like when you don't have a server version, I really can't run. And I have my server through MX, uh, you know, MXB servers. So if it's not on server version, I really can't run it. I do apologize. but. Yeah, that's kind of like the kind of stigma of it right now. But if it is, I'll try to run it, man. I, I love to do elimination races, man. I think it brings the community together. We have some really good times, really good content. There we go. I think I think just standing up through a lot of this is kind of where it's at. Let me take this outside. A little seat bounce. That's not bad. I just feel like I'm losing a little bit of momentum, but actually it's not. I feel like I, feel like I want to go Mach 10 in there, and that's like really not the objective in there. You kinda, it's kind of just doubling through. 
but now I'm starting to get the flow. Really, you could cut in here, but you actually want to keep as much speed as you want in here, probably third pin. So, because it's kind of like a straightaway. So, depending on somebody was to cut down and you do that, you probably are picking them up on the long run. Same thing here. I'm gonna take the outside, it's almost like a quad in. Oh wow, almost a, is that a quad or is that like a, a five man to a single out? Actually looking pretty cool. And it's kind of a, not necessarily a wall jump, but you can send it. Um, I think I'm liking this inside a little bit better. I don't want to cross over that inside. It's kind of like non-bearable to where it's almost going to kick you out this way automatically. And then you can either send full send over the, you know, finish line or not. But I'd say this track is definitely a W in my in my in my book. I, I think any sand track that comes out is a W because uh, it's you're always working on momentum. Like I said, you're always working on keeping that speed and momentum. As you can see, that's what I'm trying to keep up right now. And you could be like taking these insides, could be taking these insides and and then have them start the bike all back up. But right here, I think this is the only spot I know I just kind of messed up. But you can see the little rut uh, taken together in right there. You want to take the inside and then rail back out on this outside. I think that's the only spot. Ooh, and this is a slow down one. Forgot that quick. But I do like the snake twisty turny. The snake twisting and turning is actually really cool. I mean, I think that's what would make this uh, track a very good elimination track because when it starts getting in real crazy and everybody's together, everybody's bobbing and weaving on each other. And I think that's really cool. So yeah, you're going to see a lot of carnage in here. I think that's really nice. I think the scaling is actually perfect. Um, and it's just like I said, it's not like a long track to where you get bored of it. It's almost something to where you can warm up, get that fill. Rail this outside. Oh, that's huge. Okay. Okay. I'm liking that. I feel like I feel like uh, the sand's low key throwing me left and right just a bit. I gotta find I gotta find out my niche, figure out where where I need to stop getting thrown at. But um, I hope to come out with a settings video here soon as well, guys. If you guys haven't known, um, I don't want to go off topic from the track. I really kind of want to keep it focused on the track. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I did qualify. Uh, if you guys are still st here, <laughs> I did qualify for um, that pro series for K Bell. Um, and yeah, I think I got an ode to my settings and Murph. Shout out to my boy Murph. Murph really hooked me up for DSX. Probably the best $5 I've bought on Steam so far to know for this game. Um, just a quick setting thing to change your gyro and your other settings to where it's like no input delay. Never knew I never knew it. Like I had DSX this whole time and I changed my gyro and I changed my my uh, input delay and it's been nothing but better so I, I've seen a lot of improvement hopefully to come out for a settings video coming into the Supercross season um, I will do that here soon hopefully I didn't dox myself someone kind of takes that idea but hey, at the end of the day I want to see the community grow I don't really care if you steal ideas from me I think more power to you just don't get mad when I start coming out with the same thing you know what I'm saying but with that being said uh, yeah DSX man if you guys haven't picked that up it is five dollars on Steam I think it's the best five dollars I spent to know uh, lately and I've, I've only been using it for the last two or three days and it's been very helpful more very more smooth on my controller um, and I'm running 70% direct lean and I still feel God's here now I was all ooh, that was on me I also was t being told and I just don't want to do it yet um, to turn go into your settings and do d zero direct uh, you know lean help I just don't know if I'm ready for that, man. Especially this close to the season. I don't want to have to relearn the game. Yeah, it's that one right there. Like, I, I, I'm i trying to send it over, and it, I'm not getting enough freaking oomph to do it. So this section is probably a little bit more challenging. I think I've got everything down packed, and so I've got to realize how to get into this section. So we're going to conquer that before, before we be done. And since I crashed again, I'm going to turn standings on. I don't even know what I'm running as a good lap. Okay, I'm saying, I said a 110. 115 dude i'm right at a 145 okay i'm way off way off time so a good two minute maybe i mean way less i haven't really ran a really clean lap so maybe a 130 so maybe i was off by 15 seconds a really good lap on here would probably be a 130 see bounce onto a double now this is always like a good i like this i feel like if you take it to the side slow down just a bit you can scrub the life out of that that was actually pretty nice stand up rail oh i think standing up is your best friend here um, also, shout out to my boy uh, Skizzy. He did give me that new controller overlay instead of the black one. I think the black one was just uh, messing up a lot, and it couldn't really see my analog sticks for when I was turning. So, thank you so much, Skizzy. I do appreciate that. But yeah, um, I don't know about a 450 being here. I don't want to take that outside line. I don't think that outside line is really viable, or maybe it is to get over this. I, I guess I have to take that outside line if I want to get over that table. I think I'd be fine casing it just a bit. 
Now right here, take it nice and easy, get into that rut, boom, hit that, and then you wanna take this outside rut. I like the snake, like I said, and this is a slowdown, boom. No way I just front tucked. No way, Kawasaki things. Speaking of front tucks, dude, Exhibit Man literally freaking front tucked in front of me. Had a lot of bad front end issues, and then he also like went right over the berm. That was a savage time for that man. Uh, but yeah, I, know, I don't know. It's just I'm not gonna give up on this Kawasaki just because of a little bit of front tuck. That's all it is. Just me like you know maybe slowing down just a bit to get over some stuff, and I'll take that. All right, let, let's focus up, right? Let's focus up. Boom! Okay, that's huge. Maybe. Maybe down the second gear? Maybe because of sand, go back down the second gear so I can get completely through it? I'll do that. Not bad. Probably not whip that. Yeah, like I said, I think it's got like a nice ass in Mantua. So, yeah, I... <laughs> I appreciate you hitting me up, uh, Susania. Like, this this is Ardensinia, Ar and I gotta say, like, I'd be down to run some races, even put this in the uh, server. Like, even if it's not an elimination race, this is a good good track to, like, you know, bring a community to, and I think nobody would hate it. I feel like it's not a bad... Very good line choices, different line choices. I mean, obviously, the fast lines would probably be one line hitting all these outlines, but, you know, I think right now, me hitting that, not everybody is super skilled to be able to do that, because, once again, I front-tucked before, on there so i want to try to get down i really want to try to hit a hit a good lap let's take the outside here but i know a 145 is just not ideal slow down just a bit yeah okay that is faster maybe by like a hair maybe by a hair sender this right here might be a shallow send but actually wasn't bad stand up sit down i don't even think i need to rail all this i really could have went inside and then slow down no front tuck. There we go. Boom. Yeah, I like it. Not bad, man. Really good textures. Um, very good environment. It's not hard. And I think I see a transfer right here. I have to check that out. No way, I fell. No! Man, I was actually up on my time. I definitely think it's like a... Let me check this inside. That actually might be the line. Hold up. That actually might be the line. Hold up. Oh, we gotta come back around. Hold on, G. Yo. See, that's what I like. That's, that's, I guess that's the only fun part I should say about doing track reviews. I actually do enjoy um, that part of the aspect of you guys just seeing myself progress. And also my my own, you know? Like, I love seeing myself actually get on a track and be like, oh, you know what? I can actually get better. I can do better. And, you know, as I as the video progresses, I, I get way better, you know? <laughs> so that's actually really cool. I would say, like, that's the really fun part about doing a track review. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Dude. That's that's pretty nice. Like knowing that you kind of find a new line right then and there, and you guys see it. I know a lot of people just kind of like want to click on track reviews and it's like, oh, you know, like I just want to see what the track looks like, then go rip it yourself, which is perfectly fine. I think I do almost the same thing, and that's why I don't really do a lot of track reviews because you know you have so many people to choose from. What what am I bringing to the table right now that's different, other than my own personality? That probably could be it. But at the end of the day, after you see like a one or one or two laps, you know you you want to rip you want to rip it on your on your own. Try to get her. That's a good scrub. That's a good scrub. Slow her down. Take this. Oh, kind of rode high. You know what? F that outside. Let's cut in tight since this is like a oh, shallow. I think that might be the line cut in tight since the next one's shallow then you can take the outside here yeah but yeah boy, boy. no why is it every time i go for when i front to oh, come on huh? ah man i feel like i got it down packed but oh well, that being said um i know i want to i want to get a better line but i know i can get it um i'm definitely gonna have to practice this some more so thank you guys so much for actually you know clicking it on the video and actually giving this guy a time of the day. Sasenio, thank you so much. Once again, this is Erwin, uh, Arden Senya, uh, Motocross Academy. Definitely give it a go. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for me. Like I said, I love my sand track, especially when anybody wants to put in the effort for it. I know it's not like the most promising for the community right now, but it's, it's pretty sick for me. So thank you guys so much. And if you guys have enjoyed the video and you guys are still here, like and subscribe for your boy. We're on the road to 5K, 4100. Let's go for 4100. So it's your boy, happy as goes on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Peace.